Hi, I'm Abed Shapiro, and welcome to Premiere Pro in under five minutes. Today we're going to explore black and white, and I want to point out black and white is a lot more than just desaturating an image. It's actually the way you blend the red, green, and blue channels to create the shading of black that you want. Now to do this, you're going to use a very specific effect. If you go to your effects panel and select calculations, now calculations is located in your channel folder, but just simply type C-A-L-C, you'll find it. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it on this clip. Now, nothing happens, but when you go to your effects control panel, you see there are controls for your input channel and your second layer channel. What you're going to do in your input channel is choose whether you want to use the red, green, or blue parts of your image. And we're going to just arbitrarily choose red. And then we're going to go down to the second source. So I'm going to go ahead and use blue. And this is where the magic happens. There's a second layer opacity slider. And if I move it left and right, as we go from 0 to 100%, you see how the tonality of the blacks and the whites change. If I switched from, say, blue to green, I'll get a slightly different black and white look. So this is very useful. Now, there's another great little trick that actually works in all the adjustments in Premiere Pro, and that is if you go ahead and select the numerical value, the up and down arrow keys will actually move you by one tick with each up and down arrow movement. You can also hold down the shift key, and now you'll be jumping in units of 10. And now if you want to fine tune that, go ahead, jump back into your basic correction. Now you can work with contrast, highlights, even your tint. Because if you tint the image before, you will change the tonality of the red, green, and blue channels. So go ahead, make some cool black and white images, and save them as presets for later.